Hello buddy, welcome back to Brandon Star Channel. My name is Gaming and welcome back to a brand new video on F1 2021. Today we are doing my driver career. So instead of my team, uh, we are gonna go straight into Formula 2 instead of skipping Formula 2 into Formula 1. And anyways, if you're watching today's video, leave a like and subscribe. Um, it's free, only takes a couple of moments. And for the team I chose, it was ART and for the for the driver academy, I got, I chose Mercedes, so that's for you to that's know. Everything we so it's a Kia Grand Prix first race. So let's go is increase top speed. Um, track seems to be fine, 31 degrees Celsius. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's see how well we do. Is a Renault engine, I currently ART, same as last time was quite likely. Uh, six gear, pretty slow downshifts, I have to say. So, you know, I am st I am on the same difficulty as my other crew. Mode. So I guess in Formula Two they are slightly slower, or it's just that I'm just way too good at barring. Fantastic. You've got pole. The grid is all set for the race tomorrow, but before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, which are Ace, Schumacher, and Yuki Tsunoda. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the feature race gets itself underway. Alright, so that was qualifying. One shot qualifying, that's it. Welcome to Sakir and the Bahrain International Circuit, where the grid is forming up ready for today's race. Bahrain represents an exceptional 3.36 miles of racing. Lots of opportunities to overtake throughout its 15 corners. Now, this track has a reputation for being brutal on the rear tyres, so keep an eye on how these young drivers manage their rubber. Strategy here could ultimately determine the winner of this race. Davide, you're a three-time winner around here in one week, I believe, back in 2012. How on earth do you make the tyres last around this racetrack? They degrade so quickly. To be honest, the key to the race is having a good start so you can get your car into a good position. Then save the tire as much as you can and push just at the end. Here is the grid for today's race, which will be starting shortly. Ace lines up on pole position with Mick Schumacher alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Sonoda, Tictum, Robert Schwartzman, and Piquet. Armstrong, Sato, Deruvela, Felipe Dragovic, Joe, Matsushita, Jack Aitken, and Alacy, Eilot, Giotto, Mazepin, and Roy Nisani, Delatraz, Samaya, Galeo, 
and Artem Markolov completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Alright, so first three. We're going to need you to push hard if we're going to get a good result today. Let's make it happen. Alright, so first race of the season in Formula 2. Um, this is a full... This is full season, full calendar. Both feature and sprint race, 25% each. So it's not going to be that long. But ladies and gentlemen, here we go. For the feature race. As we go, five minutes are now coming on as we are going to the other way. And it's a lights out and away we go for a Formula 2 race. And I had a bad start because I forgot. Formula 2 guys don't have, you know, have wheel spin off the start. But I instantly take the lead, possibly. Yep, I do. Eight laps in this race, we are all on the hard party, hard company. I'm not that fast on a hard compound with heavier fuel. Maybe. Or maybe it's because we're in the um, sun, so that affects my driving apparently. Maybe, I don't know. But by sector 3, you have 1.2 seconds ahead of Shimmer. 2 seconds out of Tinova. There I go, very wide. Alright, 146, that's okay. And we just have to push to the end. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Last lap, no mistakes now. Alright, well, here it is, the last corner of the race. Let's try not to book it. Alright, there you go. First win in Formula 1. First race in F. Not Formula 1. We win. Like the stamp and send it. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. So as they climb out of the car, the ART team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly deserved win. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? It was down to one thing. 
and pace over everyone else out there on the track. We could spend a great deal of time talking about race and tire strategy, what is so good on the track, but at the end of the day, the difference here was down to simply being faster on track than everyone else. Amazing skill on show. An amazing race today and a very well-deserved one too. The team worked very hard to get exactly the right setup out of the F2 car. It works for them and the results speak for themselves. ARTGP winners today. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the driver's championship. Ace increases their championship lead. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? For me, the RT driver was the best in the field today. There was a lot of going on down the field. There's no question for me, they were the best. And now a look at the team stands. ART moves to the top of the field. Welcome back for the final event of the weekend, the sprint race. Here, the top eight from yesterday's feature race are reversed to make up the grid below us. And in just a few minutes, those drivers will be hurtling down into turn one. In the commentary box for the big race today, I'm Alex Jakes, and joining me once again, it's the 2012 GP2 champion, Davide Valsecchi. Davide, what should we be looking out for? in today's race. These drivers, Alex, they all want to prove themselves and push hard to get into Formula 1. That is the dream. But first, they have to win here. Nobody has the better car. Nobody has the advantage. It's all about the driver's skill. So they will be fighting hard every corner and sometimes maybe pushing their tires too far, which could maybe make the race more exciting later on. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Alright everybody, this is the sprint race, if I remember correctly, no, this is the sprint race, so we are starting P8. Alright, the first top 8 are now reverse grid in. So here we are, five red lights are now starting to come on here in Bahrain for the future race. It's the lights out and away we go. And I'm in sprint, not future, well, you know what I mean. Auto, here we go, we're trying to get the inside. Well, Sato is doing pretty well. So we get past to know that I can go. I try to send it, that is not good, my bad. My bad. That was too aggressive. Very aggressive, my bad teammate. I'm from. My bad, I'm from. Uh, anyways, here we are. P4. We find PK. Then Schwartzman. Oh, look, it's Schwartzman. Shh, 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 shh. Fine. 
already have just a few laps to win, so let's try to win. First sector, not bad, not bad, not bad. Try inside, and I do go down. I never knew you could overtake there, but I did go down the inside. Can I? Oh shoot! I have to back off so that we don't crash. But I never knew you could overtake in that S section. I just saw um, you know, just stay behind and overtake on this longer part of the track. As we now go on the front stretch, or as we the front straight. Right, so I'm using, uh, using Great work. my slip stream to get past me. He's trying to do by just staying front. So here we are, uh, as we can see, as you ride on board with Nathan, the gap is now one point, no, a one tenth of a second from the lead. This is the battle for the lead of this race now. Gaming with the DRS he is within one second here he comes. There is wide open and swift stream. With way he dives down the inside will he keep the move. They keep the move I should say. No, he doesn't. He goes very, very wide and within the contact uh doesn't look like it. But gaming now has it inside line. It looks like he gets the position. Will he keep it? Will the there is a little play back, it doesn't look like so. Game keeps the position and he is now set free and makes it over to the entire race. Yep, we have plenty of fuel. Alright, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, we're all. We're leading our teammate by 8.3 seconds. It's also like the stamp and sent it. That's a race win and your second race win in a row. Fantastic job. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for ART today.
And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? This race, this week, was about one thing and one thing only. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of motorsport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. Daniel Ricardo one. And now let's take a look at the driver's stack. Ace increases their championship lead. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? For me, the RT driver was the best in the field today. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. On to the teams then. ART moved to the top of the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take but care. that was a complete full um, point, so I got every single point possible. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Let's see if there's anything after. Doesn't look like. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. This is Gaming Sign Off. I'll see you in a brand new video. Peace.